Tiki Barber got accepted to the Detroit Lions after all. If you look at his Facebook profile, and this isn't fake, you can actually search his name, a team Barber. You can see some of his info that's public, and you can see some of his wall that's public. And it says that he is now a running back for the Detroit Lions. Well, we suppose that Detroit can have their running back, because he sure ain't running back to his wife anytime soon. And I'm not sure that she would accept him back. And Detroit, as I said, is a bunch of losers anyway. So it makes it... Well, if I didn't say that before, now I said that Detroit is a bunch of losers. And no offense to my cousin Joe Rusnock. He kind of knows that. And for the life of me, except for the GI Bill, I can't imagine why Great Grand Uncle moved there. Going to Swearsville, well, staying in Swearsville rather, or going to Baltimore or anywhere else but Detroit would have been nice. And hey, now we have Tiki Barber, the adulterer in Detroit. And you think that Detroit didn't have enough problems, now they have a bad example in his mistress in Detroit. And um, not that every town doesn't have its bad apples, but I'm just saying, Detroit. Detroit is a football team that sucks. And on that football team, now they have a now ex-husband and a now deadbeat dad on that football team. And by the way, I said that other towns have their bad apples too, so I'm willing to acknowledge that, for example, the Ravens. We unfortunately have Ray Lewis, who was an accomplice to murder, and he should have gotten charged with his crime. And... Pittsburgh, obviously, everybody knows Ben Roethlisberger and Roger Clemens for whatever baseball team he played for, so, well, not that Roger Clemens is in Baltimore, but I forget what city he, I think he's the Dodgers. Anyway, have a good evening.